In this tutorial, we will show you how to create your FreeCAD model on a 3D printer. To keep the tutorial short and simple, we will just create a cube with a hole in it. But of course, this general process should work for any 3D model you create in FreeCAD. We are assuming you already have FreeCAD installed on your system, but if not, Take a look at our quick start tutorial. We've included a link to that in our description below. Once you have FreeCAD installed, launch it to get this screen. Then click File, right here, New. Next, click Start, right here, to select a FreeCAD workbench. Don't be confused by all the workbench choices. You can view our other FreeCAD tutorials to learn about those. For this demonstration, we will be using the part workbench right here. The part workbench allows you to create 3D models using predefined shapes called primitives. So to create our cube, click right here. Then in the combo view on the model tab, click the cube icon. Then look here to make sure the size of our demonstration cube is 10 by 10 by 10 millimeters. If not, just click the length, width, and or height fields and enter the value 10. Next, with the cube selected, we will create a cylinder by clicking on this icon right here. Then on the Model tab of the Combo View, click on the Cylinder icon and make sure that its radius is 2 millimeters, height is 10, and the angle is 360. Now to position the cylinder, we want to look right here, make sure this down arrow has been clicked, and we want to change the X dimension right here to 5. And we want to change the Y dimension right here to 5. This will position the cylinder right in the middle of our cube right here. Now to cut a hole in the cube, click on the cube icon right here in the combo view on the model tab. Then shift click on the cylinder icon right here. Now we have both selected. Now to cut a hole in the cylinder, we want to come over and click Cut right here. And kaboom! We now have a cylinder with a hole in it. For a different view, hold down the Shift key and the right mouse button and drag the model around. And you can see that we have, in fact, a cube with a hole in it. To return to the standard isometric view, click this icon right here. Now save your FreeCAD model. In our case, we click on File, Save As. We're going to name ours Demo right here. And we're saving it on the C drive in a folder named Demo. Of course, you can save it at any location you like. For instance, you can save it on your desktop. We're going to click Save. Now we're going to export this model to a format that can ultimately be used to print a 3D model. To do that, we want to click here on Cut. This is the combination of the cube and the cylinder where the cylinder has been cut away from the center of the cube. Once you click here, you want to click on File. You want to click on Export. And down here, we want to choose a file type. And you'll notice that there are many. But the one we want is this one, STL Mesh, or .STL. And we can say Save. Now that .STL file has been saved in the same folder with your regular FreeCAD model file. We can come over, and here it is 
right here. And that's it. You now have a file that you can use to 3D print your model. Note, however, that this .stl file will have to be loaded into another program called a slicer that will slice the model into thin wafers or layers and then save them as a G-code file or feed the G-code file directly to your 3D printer. There are a number of slicer programs out there, some free and some paid for. Cura and Bamboo are two examples. You can search the web for 3D printing slicer software to find others. Here's a picture of the 10 by 10 by 10 cube example after it's been printed. That concludes this tutorial, so thanks for watching. And be sure and check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel named 321 Step-by-Step -step Tutorials.